what a treat we have outside. It's almost time for some good food, beers, and music on the river as Roundabout Brewery gets ready to celebrate their 10th annual Smoketoberfest. This is going to be so much fun. I'm joined by the brewery's owner. We have Diana Sloan, and we also have the owner of Blowfish Barbecue, Justin Hootie Blakey. So good to have you guys here. So tell us about the... Uh, Smoketoberfest and how you came up with the idea. Yeah, sure. So we opened up our brewery in 2013 in Lawrenceville, my husband and I, Steve. And it was about a year later we decided to just mess around with some smoked uh, chili peppers and add them to a beer because we love chili pepper pilsners and things like that. So we decided to do that in 2014. And we invited a local vendor called uh, Butcher and Butler to actually be the very first vendor. And that was a lot of fun for us. Uh, over the years, it has grown. We now have four food vendors that do smoked treats. And there are different things from, say, kielbasa, uh, corn dogs, brisks, uh, brisket sliders, um, some smoked pork belly. So there's always something different going on. And with that, we do some smoked beers, some chili pepper beers. Sometimes we smoke fruits or uh, coconut to add to a porter. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. And then we have a lot of music as well. We have three bands this year, which is great. But uh, the second year we decided to do it, we wanted to do a special souvenir mug. So we came up with this cute little one. We thought, oh, that's cute. But over the years, it has grown. Uh, the, the mugs change every single year. So it's, like a, it's a collection. You have it to come is. to get the new mug. Absolutely. It is a collection. We don't have this year's out because it is a big surprise. Um, but yeah, everyone loves to collect these. And with the ticket, you actually get that mug. You get a full pour in that mug of any beer that you'd like. And then you also get food from all four vendors and then the live music. So it's a lot of fun. Well, Hody, I can't leave you out. You're just standing back here so patient. I'm just hanging out. You're it's waiting my turn, you know? <laughs> well, so tell me how you got roped in to being part of this. Uh, so I've been a vendor with Roundabout uh, for about the past 10 years now, and uh, we've always done all of our smoked meats, brisket, smoked mac and cheese, pulled pork, all the likes. But uh, for Smoketoberfest, we pull out a special menu item every single year. Uh, so this year it's the beef ribs, as you see this year, and uh, our smoked mac and cheese, which we're known very much so for, even if you're a non-meat eater, it still works for the vegetarians, uh, vegetarian friends on the mac and cheese. All right, so I think I have to, to get, what yes, do you think, ribs or do I go mac and cheese? I mean, you go mac and cheese first, then the ribs, but. Okay, yeah. that sounds like a good idea. And Diana, why don't you pour us something? Tell me what this is that you're going to pour. Yes, so this is a smoked uh, chili pepper Oktoberfest, so we call it Spice and Smoke, if I can get that open. <laughs> and this one isn't going to be too heavy on the spice, but you are going to get some nice uh, smoked essence out of that and it should go really well with the rib oh my gosh how did you do that um it was all an accident actually it happened during a house party i actually do not like mac and cheese but we're kind of semi-famous okay. for our mac and cheese and <laughs> there you have it <laughs> that, it's really incredible and cheers do you do you want to partake are we all is it just me i'm just the only one partying today it's five o'clock somewhere so you do get a little bit of that kick that little bit of smokiness in it Yes, just a little bit. And uh, I know a lot of people don't like to uh, get, get into smoked beers too much sometimes, so we do have just regular beers on, like our Ginga or Ginger Wheat, which is a, a big favorite with uh, our regulars. Uh, we will have our Jacked Up O'Liner Stout on top, which is a big seasonal uh, favorite. It has uh, La Prima Espresso Coffee, some pie spices, no pumpkin, and it's in a coffee stout. So that really sets off barbecue flavor as well. It's one of our favorites. Um, so, you know, try that when you get to Smoketoberfest. And if you have a little bit of a sweet tooth, we also always have Leona's ice cream sandwiches on hand. Yep, it's in, it takes place uh, at our pop-up beer garden, which is in Chateau, which is right on the Ohio River, right along the Three Rivers Heritage Trail, where we get a lot of really great bike uh, traffic. Hootie, I don't know how you did it. It's falling off the bone. Smoke, lots of love, and just passion. So, right. Well, cheers. cheers. Come out. It's going to be a great time. Fest. Don't miss Smoketoberfest. It is happening this Sunday at from 3 to 6 at Roundabout's Pop-Up Beer Garden on Oxline Street. We'll be right back after the break.